what's going on guys today we are going to create a crude application or a crude system in java using netbeans IDE and mysql database crude application means create read update and delete these are the most basic and most frequently used operation against any database crude means uh, creating means inserting data into a database reading means reading data selecting data from the database updating means updating the existing content of the database and deleting means deleting the data from the database so let's do it by the way i am considering that you have installed netbeans id jdk and then the mysql server in your system if you don't know how to install jdk netbeans id and one server for mysql database uh, i already created one uh, video for those tutorials the link is in the description section now for mysql database you have two options either you can install directly the mysql workbench and mysql server or you can use the warm server and from that uh, you can use the uh, mysql database so let's do it open up netbeans id go to file new project and select java ant java application click next and give the project name code java click next and it will create our project and right click over your project click on new jframe forms and here goes crude and then click ok simply close this and expand that and here we are going to drop some controls from the palettes button or is button here you go we need a couple of button like five button And we need a text box. So here goes one, two, three text box and one uh, spinner for ID and one uh, password fill for password. There you go. We need a label also. So drag and drop label id name email username and then finally password now select all those button and there you go now erase this so that it looks nice on the screen Now here goes ID. Double click that label. Here goes ID. And here goes name. Here goes email. Here goes user them. And finally here goes password. Now select all the controls and right click go to properties and go to fonts and select 18 and select the font that you want to display click ok ok now expand those button a little bit and make them all bigger Now here goes text on and here goes create and here goes read and here goes update and finally here goes delete. Let me select all these and drag a little bit center here. We can also change the font color of this button also. So select the button 
go right click go to properties and there you can see background and i am going to choose this one for this and ok and create same process background i think i am going to use this one you can also change the four color go to properties and then there you can see foreground and select the white one ok read go to properties background here i am going to use the green one and foreground also to white update background to like oranges and foreground to white close properties background to like rosette and then foreground to white close that now give the variable name to each control here goes txt id here goes txt name so that it is easier for us to remember while we write our code and here goes txt email and remove that text also here goes txt user right click edit that text and here goes txt pass and you can simply leave that as it is or you can simply remove that as well there you go this is our design now let's check how how design looks simply run it there you go it looks uh, pretty nice pretty nice this color is a little bit off so i'm going to change that color so that color right click run it there you go by the way you can change your, the font uh, as your requirements go to properties and there you can see font and from the font section you can choose your font so select all the controls right click properties go to font and from there okay close now we complete our designing part now let's create a database so for that i'm going to use the uh, warm server uh, you can also use the mysql workbench and mysql server install on your system i already created that also how to do that so have a look at that here i am going to server so that warm server now after running warm server I'll open up any browser and go to lcl as well as localhost and go to PHP my admin and here the default username is root and password is empty but i set my password so enter your password or leave it as it is and click that login create one new here goes java cr aod and click create and number of columns and table name java cr ud click on create and here goes id here goes name here goes email and then username and here goes PASSWORD password 
uh, id is integer name is bear care select bear care email is bear care username is bear care password is bear care length like 5 50 50 50 15 and select that ai that is auto incremented we don't have to insert by ourselves and and then simply click that save now we also need a java mysql or mysql connector so simply search that and go to the first link and then select the platform independent and simply download that i already downloaded that so download and extract that now go back to netbeans id and right click over library click on add jar slash folder and go to the home where you save your file i save my file in download section and my sql connector and then select that dot jar file okay now double click that create button and here we are going to write the code that will save the data into the database so here what you can do is we can check if the all the text box are empty or not if the text box are empty then uh, we need to display the message to the user please fill the form this is for validation purpose so here what i am going to do is i am going to define on boolean is empty to false by default it is false and i am going to use i am going to define on array and that contains the component of our form component c-o-m-p-o-n-e-n-t component is equal to get content pan dot get components and i'm going to use for loop here for c o m p o n e n t component c o m p c o m p o n e n t component in all the components let's define these components here goes components for component let's add and here if the component cumpunent component is the instance of instance of z text box then what we are going to do is i think we also need to add this and here if the c o m p o n e n t component if the component dot get text dot is empty if the text box is empty what we are going to do is i am going to say that is empty boolean variable to true and here i am going to check after the for loop if the boolean variable is true that means what we have to do is we have to display the message the option pan dot so message dialog and here goes null the parent component is null and here what i am going to display is i am going to display please fill the form otherwise else what we are going to do is we are going to insert data to the database so for that i need a connection class unnecti in connection con is equal to driver manager dot first of all you scroll up and here import java.sql.all dot all and it is still uh, displaying it and uh, that does not matter driver manager dot dot get connection and here goes our connection listing that is jdbc java database connectivity and here goes mysql and then uh, our 
server name that is also CLHOST and then our database name is Java CRUD. I think so. Uh, let's check, confirm it. Java crude. And then the database uh, username is root. And I set my password and I have to give that also. Here goes my password. And there you go. And it is uh, displaying some visual around with try chaos. And here I need one uh, SQL query. So a string insert or create query. Create query is equal to insert a generally standard SQL statement are written in upper case. Insert into our table name that is Java CRUD. And then we have to provide the column name. If you are going to insert into all columns, then you don't have to provide the column stamps. But here, in our case, we are going to insert into only the name, email, username, and password. The ID is automatically incremented. So here, here goes name, email, pass, the old, sorry, username, and then password. Username, and then PASS wre password and then values values and here we are going to use a parameter substitution because of the obvious reason that is the danger of sql injection from other peoples and now we need a prepared statement pre pre d s d a t e m e n t prepared statement ps and ps is equal to connection dot prepared statement and here goes our create query and we need to uh, substitute our value so ps dot set a string and here goes one and here goes txt name dot get text and simply copy this and here goes index position 2 here goes 3 here goes 4 here goes txt email here goes txt user and finally here goes txt pass and we need to execute it so prepare statement dot exe cut executed and after executing it uh, we need to display some message now here you can also check here if if count is equal to true that means that means if our query and effect the database table row then what we can do is here we can display a message the option pan dot so message dialog here goes null and here goes created successfully and simply save that and let's check our application We don't have to provide the ID here, name and email. Now click that create button. Message should display created successfully, but we got nothing. And let's check the value is inserted in our database or not. The value is actually inserted in the database. Uh, that means uh, this is not working simply remove that and remove that save that and run again and click that create message should display created successfully ok now go back again and let's check there you can see two values are inserted 
Now let's read value from the database. The basic idea of reading value from the database is when I click that read button, uh, all this control need to be hidden and the uh, table need to be displayed in the in this frame. So for that, what you can do is double click that read button and here I'm going to use this component section. So here simply copy that, paste that. Close that, close that, and here I am going to check our component. Component is INS TNC instance of J label or CMPO and ENT component is INS TNC instance of J spinner then what we are going to do is here uh, let's add all this control and spinners also here what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide all these controls so for that c o m p o n e n t dot set visible to false otherwise i am going to display this means we are going to hide all those text box, labels, and that spinner box. And here, after hiding that, what I am going to do is I am going to populate the uh, J table. So here I am going to create one private void. So J table. And here, I need a connection string so c o n n c t i and connection con is equal to d r i v r manager dot get connection and simply copy and paste uh, this connection string and uh, we need to wrap inside this try catch so surround with try catch and uh, we need a statement so s t a t m a n t statement s t m t is equal to connection dot create statement and we need a result set to extract data from the database so RS is equal to <laughs> stmt dot execute query and here we are going to pass our query that is select all from all from our table name that is java crud and here uh, we need some kind of a model table to store the data that is extracted by this query so for that i am going to use the default table model and we need to import in this as well and we need to add the column uh, to this uh, default uh, table model so int i am going to extract the column of our database that is int column count is equal to result set rs dot get metadata dot get column count uh, it will count the column of our database and uh, store that number of count in the count column count variable and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the for loop. So for int i is equal to one, i is less than column count and I'm going to populate model model dot add column. I'm going to add the column to that model uh, table and result set dot get metadata dot get column name and then pass the value and after 
ja, Shio, ja, du är man. Kolla om du kan. And this. Kolla om du då. Model now. What you need is. Och inte då. A to rows to the model. Now for that. While result set, there is a result extracted by this query, and until there is a, a result, what we are going to do is I am going to define on array object a row data is equal to new object, and here goes column count. We need to have the row data. Up to that column, how many column? We have a five column. So for up to that five column, we need a row data in a single row. So here, for i and i is equal to zero, i is less than few column count, and i plus plus. And here, what I'm going to do is row count i is equal to result set dot get object, and here goes i plus one. In the uh, rows zero position, we are going to get the result set, and the result set value is initially uh, initializing. Index one, so we have to do i plus one. Here, i r o w and d a t a. And after doing that, we are going to add all those uh, row to the model. So add rows, and here goes row data. Now we need to uh, create a, a table, j table, dynamically here. So create. J T A B L E, and here goes J T A B L E. T A B L E is equal to new J table. I just need to add this to swing control again. When we need to scroll back, scroll plan is equal to new J H S C R O L L. J. Now we also need to add this to swing controls, and then what we are going to do is we need a pan, and we are going to add this table to this uh, J screw pan. So table, here goes table, and J P N E L panel is equal to new. Here is the panel, and here goes. We need a border layout uh, in our table, so that's why we need a, a border B U R D R L A Y O U T layout, and border layout to this panel. And I think uh, we need to add this to swing controls, and here. In the panel, we are going to add our scroll pan, and here goes scroll pan and border layout to center. And oh, we need to give the panel a uh, P A N L panel boundary, so. Set B O U N D S pounds, and here I am going to use hundred from the X, hundred from the Y, and the Y is five hundred, and the height is three hundred. Then what we need to do is we need to add this to the controls that is J frames. So get C V N T E N T content panel. And we need to add, and we need to add the panel. 
now we need to repaint so that uh, the frame j frame will refresh and we need to close the connection rs dot clsc close and then the statement stmt dot close and then the connection dot close now we need to call this method copy this and we need to call this method inside the clicking event of that read button so simply call that and repaint save that and right click and run file and click that read and it is not displaying anything that means we have error so let's check what is going on here connection is equal to drive manager dot kit collection dbc my sql local host let's check out what you will name java crud java crud that is okay default table model model is the new default model uh, we count the number of columns here and table table is going to j table oh here we need to pass our model table that is model simply save that right click and run and simply read that and database value it to be displayed here and one thing you can do is here table dot table dot set row height and here you can give like 40 right click run again and then click that read and little bit uh, nice now id name email username here we don't see our uh, password uh, rules here password column sorry now that means we have error in our code here for i is equal to zero i is less than or equal to column save that right click run again click that read and password field is right there so uh, on that is the read part now we need to have update and delete so go back to design click the double click that update button it will create the listening event of that button and and here we need a uh, connection so simply copy that and here simply paste that I wrap that inside the try and catch and here we need a string a string query that is apdat query is equal to update java crude update table and then set and then the name is equal to what we use parameter substitution obviously email is equal to what username is equal to what and password is equal to what and then we need a some kind of condition whr where id is equal to what and it will be statement ps ps is equal to connection dot prepare statement and here goes update query and we need to pass the value now substitute so ps dot set string and here goes one index and in that one index we here goes txt name dot get text and simply copy this and paste two three four five and here goes two here goes three here goes four and here goes five now here goes txt email here goes txt 
user here goes txt pass and here goes txt id dot get value dot to string we have to convert that to string and ts dot execute and then display the message pen dot so message dialog here goes null here goes updated successfully save that and run your program again and let's read how many data we have we have two data now into random name now go back to home first of all let's write the code for going back to home and go back and home and here we are going to use that this what we are going to do is if the component is jpan jpanel we are going to hide that and we are going to display the other one and component is set visible to false else component dot set visible to true save that and let's run again and click that read data is displaying now click that home our label and text box is displaying here uh, when i click that read the label in text box is hidden and j panel is displaying and when i click that home j panel is hidden and our label in text box is shown here i i want to update that too so go back to home and here type one sorry two then here new name new email at gmail.com new user and new pass one two three now let's click that update updated successfully now let's read previously that is random now new name new email there you go now we need to write the code for delete so go back to design and double click that delete and we need that connection string so simply copy that and here paste that and try cache and we need a query here a string d -E l e t e query is equal to d -E l e t -E delete from our table name that is java crude and where id is equal to what ps the ps is equal to connection dot prepare statement and here goes our delete query now we need to substitute the value so ps dot set string and here goes one and here goes txt id dot get value dot to string we have to convert that spinner value to string and ps dot execute execute that query and let's display the option pan dot so message dialog and goes null and goes deleted successfully simply save that now run it let's first of all add some value here let's create create it successfully now let's read we have three value and let's update again go back and let's update to to jlo here jl at gmail.com here go jlo and then click that update message will display update successfully now let's read there you go jlo now go back to home 
and uh, I want to delete that three. Click that delete, deleted successfully. Now let's read. There you go. We are going to Bello. Now when I click that home button, what I want to do is I want to clear all those text. So for that, what you can do is go back and design and double click that. And here, here what you can do is if component component is INS TANC instance of J text shield what you can do is cmpune and the component dot set text to empty now I run it again that goes it is empty now uh, when I add some value here now click Create, created successfully. Now read there are four and go back to home. When I click that home button, all the text will need to be empty. There you go. That is empty previously. Uh, all the value is persisted there. Now that's all. This is a pretty long tutorials and pretty useful tutorials as well. And this is the most basic and most frequently used operation against any database and that's all. If you like this video, share this video with your friends so that they can create uh, this amazing crude application in Java and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video and stay connected with us. In order to stay connected with us, you have to subscribe this button, subscribe that button because we are going to create a lot of tutorials and we have the target of reaching 100k subscriber this year. So help us with that. And once again, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye. I will see you in the next tutorial.